So what does the optimizer actually do? What the optimizer does is it makes a decision on the best way to execute a SQL code statement. Based on input parameters it can gain, in other words, the SQL code statement itself, the existence of statistics, the usability of statistics, in other words, how up to date they are, other input parameters such as the cursor sharing parameter, dynamic sampling, all sorts of other bits and pieces that you can put in hints to influence or persuade the optimizer to do things in a different way. Either user input manually input into the code itself, that's the way hints are put in, or placed in by parameters suggesting that the optimizer do things in specific ways. So really the optimizer builds the execution plan by deciding the best way to execute a SQL code statement based on what will allow it to perform best. The optimizer basically guesses at the fastest way to execute a query, for instance. There are two methods. The first is rule-based, which is actually redundant. Well, it's still usable, but it's an old system of optimization based on specific rules, rules which are formulated internally in the Oracle database. They can be influenced and overridden by various parameters and input values and bits and pieces that can be plugged in with SQL code statements. However, remember that rule-based optimization is redundant and scheduled for deprecation from Oracle Database. In fact, in Oracle Database 10G, it is no longer supported. Cost-based optimization, or CBO, is the newfangled way of executing SQL code with the optimizer. It has many additional features not available for rule-based optimization. For instance, hints, function-based indexes, are only available with CBO and not with rule-based optimization. The cost-based optimizer uses statistics, which must be up to date, and as I've already said, dynamic sampling can be quite an effective substitute for either out-of-date or non-existent statistics. One of the issues with statistics is that for very large databases with really large tables and very high concurrent activity requirements, in other words, lots of users changing stuff, generation of statistics, for instance, for a large table can effectively lock that table down for quite a while. So what the optimizer does is basically it uses two different optional ways of deciding how to optimize SQL code based on a set of rules or based on what's called CBO, which is effectively statistics. This is an estimated picture of data, and this is an actual picture of data. Cost-based optimization is by far the most effective method of getting better performing SQL code.